On July 12th, the DPRK tested its latest rocket in a show of defiance against U.S. and Western imperialists. The Wasong-18 flew some 621 miles, or 1,000 kilometers, and at an altitude of 3,700 3, feet, or 6,000 kilometers, and it was considered a much greater success than its test launch of its rocket launch back in March. The launch was conducted in the wake of renewed heightened tensions between the DPRK and the United States after military exercises and stronger defense cooperations had been conducted between the U.S. and Seoul, which the Korean Central News Agency called unprecedented military provocations. It also coincided with a recent NATO summit where Japanese, South Korean, and American leaders were meeting to discuss security issues. Comrade Kim Jong-un guided the test launch of the rocket himself and is designed with longer range and to be harder to detect or intercept, potentially allowing the DPRK to launch quicker and easier strikes against the U.S. if it were ever to be attacked. The U.S. continues to encroach on the DPRK's sovereignty by conducting what the People's Government calls hostile espionage flyovers much in the same regard that the U.S. spy planes did to the Soviets during the Cold War. And we all know how that turned out. What this proves is that the U.S. and Western imperialists have gotten weak and lackadaisical over the last 30 years, while the DPRK has been building up its nuclear technology and defense, and that it is vastly catching up with the West. And while there are many Marxist criticisms that can be made about the flaws and ideological ethics of Songgong policy, it is hard to argue that it has been anything other than successful. The DPRK has and continues to exercise restraint while also being woefully defiant in the face of Western aggression. It has a fundamental right to defend itself, as any other sovereign independent country does, and as its defensive capabilities continue to expand, so will the deterrence of its enemies to wage war against it. This does not mean that those adversaries won't continue to beat their chest in hostile provocations and rhetoric, but they shall know that to wage war could mean mutually assured destruction for humanity. After all, an attack on one is an attack on us all, right? Going forward, the DPRK can and will no longer be looked at as just the weird kid to be bullied and ridiculed by the Western imperialists, particularly in the U.S. It has learned to defend itself should be taken more seriously now that it has beefed up its defenses. Get them gains. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.